Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the York City Auditorium for the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Championship match between Exeter Milligan and Hampton. Yes, the Hampton dads have made the trek. No, that's not just the student section, although they are right behind. But that is the dads out in full regalia for the Hawks that are ranked number one by just about every publication in the state in Class D2, and yet they are not the one seed in their own conference tournament. Did we mention that the CRC is incredibly difficult? No, these Exeter Milligan Timberwolves last week when it was time to set the bracket based on seeding and based on playoff points with the NSAA, well, Exeter Milligan, even with three losses, was the higher seed because of points. At that time, Hampton was number four in points. Now, the interesting thing is that if you refresh the NSAA this morning or today, you would have seen that Hampton has jumped Exeter Milligan for the top spot in Class D2 in the playoff points. So, we have an undefeated and yet unset defeated Hampton team taking on a 22-3 Exeter Milligan squad that are the defending champions in this very tournament. So, should be a lot of fun. Can't wait to bring it to you. We've got our public address announcer ready for our starting lineups and introductions of the players and coaches from the CRC Volleyball Championship match. Now let's see all of the players and coaches involved in this match. First, the all stars for the visitors from Hampton. Number 12, Jay Wright. Number 13, Alexis Kyra. Number 14, Roy Hodge-Pogger. And now the best starters for the Hawks. The best specials, number 14, number 1, Kelsey Hunter. And Sarah Fiery, senior number 3, Jay Chaser. And now here at 5, 9, senior number 5, games won, so many matches won, so many sets won between these two. Darcy White, the head coach for Exeter Milligan. Diane Torson, the head coach for the Hampton Hawks. We are very excited to have the championship matches for you tonight on strivesports.com from this outstanding conference which has been so good over the years. This tournament means a whole lot and at the same time it doesn't. You know, in the course of the season, uh, sure, you'd love to have the points uh, for the NSAA and the, and the postseason and try to get uh, the good district seeds, but when it comes down to it, you still got to play in some of the best districts because you're playing in the same areas against a lot of these same teams. Here in set number one, it'll be Hampton in the near court and extra Milligan in the far court. Everybody basically wearing white, so you got to look for the libero here and there. You can spot the Hampton libero 
fairly easy. Kirsten Dozy, the 5'5 junior in the dark purple jersey. It will be Exeter Milligan to start it up with the serve first. And Anna Sluka, a 5'3 freshman, is back there first for the Timberwolves. We are just about ready for set number one of the CRC Volleyball Championship match here at the York City Auditorium. Hawks will set it up in a back row attack for Clayson, misses just wide, and it's a point early on the board for Exeter Milligan. Sluka to serve it again. Push it across Van Housen from the left side, and Madison Van Housen, one of the top players in the state regardless of class. Burke Brown, I'm looking at you. Make sure she's on every all-star team you put forward for the rest of the year. Nebraska HS Volleyball on Twitter. NebraskaPrepVolleyball.com, his website. Burke's a big fan of Madison and for very good reason. Tied up at one early on here in set number one. And a big block for Madison right out of the gate. Tracer was there as well. And it's two to one. I should say it's Tracer on the serve. Big swing down the line and good for Hannah Beefy. And Hannah really stepped up in the uh, late stages of the uh, uh, championship match a year ago in this CRC tournament. Marissa Howard was the only senior to graduate off the team a year ago. So a lot of these girls with plenty of, of big time atmosphere uh, you know, play that they've already gone through. And another big stuff that time, Sydney Hall gets in front of that one and Exeter Milligan the three to two lead. Taylor, I can't wait to see the analytics on this one because this should be the best volleyball match we see all season on the Strive Network. That serve misses long and an error and a point for Hampton. We're tied up at three. Traster back to serve for the Hawks. And that one would have missed wide, but was played in error by Beefy, and it's a point for Hampton. Clearly would have been out from our vantage point. Traster on the serve again. Tries the near side this time. Back set down the line, missing long, though, as they tried to set up Catherine White. Three in a row for the Hawks of Hampton. Tracer making full use of the court. All the way to the stage there. Set it up on the near side, push it down the line from Luzum. Cross court, little tip shot. Uh, that's going to be into the net. Too much of a run that time for J.C. Clayson and a point for Exeter Milligan. Catherine White. 5'8", sophomore. Boy, she's going to be a good one by the time she's done. Van Housen from the right side all the way to the back and another kill for Madison Van Housen. I'm not going to be able to keep track all night. Too many things going on, but Van Housen, two kills and a block in the early going here of set one, and she's back to serve. At the net, Clayson gets the block and... Actually, they say it never went over the net, so into the net and four hits against Exeter Milligan and another point for the Hawks of Hampton. Near side, big swing, good dig that time. Oh, but nobody played it. It was a great dig in the back row from Tristan Mason, but none of her teammates were able to play it at the net. And it's a point back to Exeter Milligan. Sydney Hall will serve it up for the Timberwolves. Great knuckleball, jump shot, and it's an ace for Hall and the T-Wolves. They're back within one. Sydney checks over to Coach Darcy White, gets where they want to try to attack. Clayson will take it from the middle and stuffed at the net by Samantha Horn and Exeter Milligan has rattled off three in a row to tie it at seven. Sydney Hall to serve it again for the Timberwolves. 
Clayson down the line, missed it wide, though, and another point for Exeter Milligan. That's four in a row for the T-Wolves. Back and forth we go. You know, this is going to be really interesting to watch the runs that both these teams will go on. Both extremely capable of getting really hot in a one-serve turnaround. That serve misses long from Hall, and we're tied up again at eight. So back to serve goes Kirsten Dozy for the Hawks. Back sets for extra Milligan, but not clearing that at that time was Lusum and a point for Hampton. Dozy to serve again. That one does catch the line for an ace. Timberwolves let it go, thinking it was going to be long. It didn't catch much of the line, but you don't have to catch much, just part. Good enough for the point and back-to-back -back points for Hampton. Dozy again, great serve towards the back. T-Wolves got to play it, lose them from the right side. Great dig by Van Housen. Hawks on the attack. Mason with a tip shot. Now in the middle, they'll come for lose them on the near side. Tipped up. Hampton will try to get something. Now Mason will just bump it over. Free ball for extra Milligan. Back set. Down and good for the kill for Ashley Benorden. T-Wolves back within one at 10-9. Haley Luzum to serve it up for extra Milligan. In the middle, Clayson tries the back and misses long. Tied up at 10 now. Back-to-back -back points for the T-Wolves. Traster sets it up. Mason, tip shot. Tipped at the net, though, and blocked back. Great play by Samantha Horn, and the Timberwolves have four in a row and are back, within, or back in the lead at 11-10. Good serve. Clayson just has to bump it up. Mason gets the attack off the block and good for the kill. We are tied at 11. Back into the Hampton lineup comes Kelsey Hurt, the 5'4 junior. Dozy stays back there in the back row. Tied up at 11. Hurt drives that one. Back set for the Norden. Hawks control. Mason from the left side blocked again at the net. Didn't clear the net, they say. Four hits on the Hawks and a point for Exeter Milligan. This has been a fast pace and very fun match to watch so far. Expecting this one to go, well, at least three. That's what we're going. Best of five is where we're playing. Tip of the net. Mason keeps it alive. Hawks push it over, but missing wide on that attack was Jamie Traster. Good idea. Couldn't quite find the line. And Exeter Milligan with a two-point lead. Samantha Horn to serve it up. And into the net it goes. And a point back to Hampton. The beauty of rally scoring. Taylor Clayson to serve for Hampton. Big swing. Good one there. Near side, another big swing. That was Beefy. Now they'll set up Tristan Mason. Left side attack off the block and down for the kill. Tristan Mason, outstanding basketball player as well for the Hawks. Ties things up at 13 apiece. Of course, we're in you know the smallest classes in the state, so so many of the, these girls turn around and play basketball as well. Tristan is pretty good at volleyball, but she's really good at basketball. Van Housen bumps one over. Back set. Ben Orden down the line. And Dozy didn't know. Up, down, left, right. How are we going? It's a point for the Timberwolves. 14-13. Anna Sluka in for Exeter Milligan. And she goes back to serve. Back to their first rotation as they started this set. Van Housen from the left side. Big swing. Great dig by Horn. Extra Milligan just bumps it over. Try to set it up for Clayson in the back row, and she misses long. No touch and a point for Exeter Milligan. T-Wolves by two. Sluka on the serve. Van Housen left side off the tip. Horn got a hand on it. Point Hampton. 
again, just off the top of my head, three kills, one block for a point so far tonight in this set for Madison Van Housen. Mason with a long running jump. Boy, that dropped off the table, then tipped at the net by Van Housen and another point. I'll let you guys keep track of this from now. Hawks and the T-Wolves tied at 15. And the big serve of Tristan Mason coming. That one sailed a little bit on her. Down the line, great play. Hampton keeps it alive. Van Housen puts it straight down. And that brings the dads in the front row jumping to their feet. Good night, sweetheart. She gets up very quickly. And the ball comes back down very quickly. Mason on the serve. Right at the net, Hall sets it up. Big swing that time from White in the middle. Van Housen tip shot. She goes with a changeup and gets it down anyway. Oh, that's that's cheating when you come fastball, fastball. Big changeup. Everybody out in front of that one. Two-point Hawk lead. Mason just misses long. That ends what was a 4-0 rally for Hampton. Extra Milligan back within one now. Beefy to serve it. For the Hawks, for the Timberwolves. Traster sets it up for Mason. Hall sets it in the middle for White, and Catherine puts it down. Not that Catherine is not good at volleyball or beefy. Those girls can jump too. And that ball equally goes down as fast. Beefy will serve it up again. Tied at 17. A little misplay. Went off the backboard. That's in play, though. Hampton just gets a free ball over. And then lose him, though, into the net. A point for Hampton. Traster to serve it for the Hawks. Right side attack for White. That's going to be an overpass. Extra Milligan will set it up. Lusum tries to tip it, kept alive. Van Housen pushes it to the back. Extra Milligan tries to push it again. White keeps it over. Now from the back, Mason. Lusum down the line, missed it wide. It was outside of the antenna anyway. And Hampton with a two-point lead. Jamie Traster on the serve. Hawks by two. Overpass on the serve receive. Van Housen goes to the left side and puts it down. Five, six, five kills. Five kills plus a tip and a block. Timeout, extra Milligan. That's what it is. Timberwolves want to talk about it. Van Housen heating up here in the championship match of the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament. Hey, what's going on? Just checking the fields. Yours are looking pretty good. Unless you're doing something right. Actually, I got a guy. You got a guy. Well, it's not just any guy. I got a channel seedsman. Channel, yeah. Yeah, I've been working with him pretty close to get what well, you can see for yourself. This is what I'd recommend. Let's get to work. Now this is what you want to see. Maybe I should get a guy. Maybe you should get a channel seedsman. Find your channel seedsman at channel.com. And we're back here at the York City Auditorium for the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament. My name is Eric Allgood. Aaron Allgood on video camera tonight. Austin Penfield bringing you some fantastic social media pictures and updates. Check out our Strive Sports Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat and all of that fun stuff. 20 to 17, well, Omega 20, 18. What a fantastic kill that time from Horn. 20 to 18 is our score in Catherine White to serve for the T-Wolves. On the left side, a little tip shot, and it's kept alive. Exeter Milligan keeps that alive somehow. Van Housen in the middle, goes to the left, and it's off the head of Hall. Another kill for Van Housen. 
I lost count. It's at least six, if not seven now. I think it's seven. Seven plus a block in the first set for Van Housen. Hawks will set it up. Clayson in the middle. Blocked at the net. Bumps it over, though. T-Wolves on the attack. Wrap around. Horn got it. Hawks, though, do control, and Clayson will bump it over. T-Wolves again. Tara Mueller into the match. Stuffed at the net, and it goes as a block and a point for Hampton. The Hawks by four in set number one. Haley Luzum into the rotation there in the back for Exeter Milligan. A great serve from Van Housen. Madison then with a the dig in the back row. In the middle, Clayson takes the swing. Down it goes for the kill. The Hawks are two away from a set one victory. Something they have literally said in every match this season. Timeout, Timberwolves. 23-18 here in set number one. Yeah, I get it. For the little things. Technology's great. It makes things easier. It's faster. We can get things done wherever we go. And we get all that from our bank. It works for us. But for the bigger things, the things that really count, I still want to talk to the people I know and trust. That's why I'm here. Well, the Hawk faithful out in full force tonight. That's the dads over there in the front row, in case you missed it. I, I first saw them in that regalia, and it was just a couple, like three or four of them maybe, at the CRC basketball tournament last January, or I should say this January, last school year. And uh, I've seen other social media tweets since then. It's been a, a growing tradition. Hampton is two points away from taking set one of the championship match here at the CRC tournament. Exeter Milligan in the far court, Hampton in the near court. That's Traster setting it up for Clayson. Missing wide, though, was Taylor and a point for Exeter Milligan. Ashley Benorden into the ball game in that front row for the Timberwolves. Needing to get on a roll here as Sidney Hall goes back to serve on the far side. Set it up, Clayson. Ooh, might have got away with a push that time. In the middle, Clayson again. That time she's dug out. Far side, Ben Orton down the line. Good dig by Van Housen. And now a point. They call a double hit on Traster that time. And it's 23-20. Hampton on top, but Exner Milligan with back-to-back -back points. Diane Torson patrolling the sideline down in front of us. Clayson, left side attack. Good dig. Well played at the net by the Timberwolves. Now on the left side, lose him off the block and a point for Exeter Milligan. And that's three in a row, and Coach Torson going to take a timeout for the Hawks. Hampton by two in set number one. The trucking industry gives you a lot of opportunity for careers uh, because there's such a wide, vast uh, list of possibilities and areas that you can go into. Uh, as technicians, these trucks are as advanced as cars are today, uh, so we need technicians that can work on them uh, and understand how to work the computer system and get them up and running so the customer can make money. These trucks are workhorses, but they're built for comfort and they're easy to drive. Freightliner builds these trucks for drivers' wants and customers' needs. Championship match of the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament here at the York City Auditorium. Hampton still leading, but it has been three straight points for Exeter Milligan to bring them well back within this match. Van Housen from the back row, blocked at the net, and a point for Exeter Milligan, and a big fire up from Samantha Horn, who stuffed for the first time tonight, Van Housen. One point match. 
Hall on the serve. And an ace, we're tied at 23. Five straight for the Timberwolves. Another great serve. Dug up though, Clayson on the attack to the back row it goes. Timberwolves do get her to cross. Great play there, Hall finally bumps it over. Traster, quick set in the middle for Clayson off the net, down it goes! And the Hawks are at set point. And Kirsten Dozy will go back to serve the 5'5 junior libero for Hampton. Just misses wide, and we're tied at 24. Haley Lusum will serve it now for the Timberwolves. Left side, Mason, right to the net, little bumping around. Timberwolves get it over, Hawks control. Clayson from the front, missed it though. Exeter Milligan is at set point. This is big, and Torson and the Hawks will take a timeout. All right, I can officially say it now. Hampton has not lost a set all season, but the Timberwolves of Exeter Milligan have them on the ropes at Sometimes you just got to appreciate the atmosphere of the York City Auditorium. Exeter Milligan with set point on Hampton in set one. Lose him on the serve. Mason on the attack. Good dig. And on we play. Tracer will set it up for Mason again. Blocked at the net, and that's the set. Exeter Milligan takes down Hampton for the first set all season. 26-25. Timberwolves should be very excited about that. Plenty of volleyball yet to play. But it is the first lost set for Hampton all season long. So set one goes to Exeter Milligan, 26-24. The second set is still to come. Nova Fitness Equipment of Omaha has provided the very best weight room, track and field, and sports surfacing products for over 30 years in Nebraska. They provide Cybex, Matrix Fitness, Vertimax, Tough Stuff, Pro Elite, Stairmaster, York Barbell, Troy Barbell, and UCS track and performance products. From rubber flooring, strength equipment, cardio products, and sports performance accessories, Nova Fitness Equipment has what you need to make your athletic program successful. Contact Nova Fitness Equipment today at their home office in Omaha or online at Nova Fitness Equipment com home cooked favorites and online ordering so you can skip the line that's what you'll find at Dickie's barbecue in York log on to Dickies.com select the York address sign in or create a profile and you'll be ordering delicious barbecue in just seconds choose from a variety of meats like brisket pulled pork chicken breast or sausage add a home style side like waffle iron fries fried onion tanglers barbecue beans, and even fried okra. You won't go away hungry. Try Dickie's Barbecue today and log on to Dickie's.com. Kids eat free on Sunday.
So set number one belongs to the Exeter Milligan Timberwolves. The first set dropped by the Hampton Hawks all season. Plenty of volleyball yet to play. The teams have flipped ends, so Exeter Milligan now in the near court with Hampton in the far court as you see it on your screen. And Hampton will have first serve with Taylor Clayson. Misses long for a point for the Timberwolves. Quick sub in for the Timberwolves. Anna Sluka back into the back row as she replaces Ashley Benorden. Mason at the net, blocked. And a big block it is for Hannah Beathy, and it's a quick 2-0 Timberwolf lead. Sluka again on the serve. Van Housen from the left side into the net. 3-0 Exeter Milligan. Van Housen, seven kills on her first seven swings, but then blocked at the net late in that set one, number one and then that one into the net also had a blocked an ace block I should say in set number one as well wrap around that's a good block a little bump though uh, Beathy does push it over kept alive what a play by Mason to keep it alive Dozy bumps it over big swing and off the off the kill off the block it's a point for Hannah Beathy Four nothing Timberwolves here in the early going of set number two. Mason just pushes that one over close to the net, wrap around, and a block. Mason got the block that time. Hampton controls. Traster with a quick set. Beathy from the left side puts it down for the kill. And a sub coming in for Hampton. Alexis Gira, the 5'3 sophomore, going to check into the back row. For the Hawks, it is a 5-0 start in this set. For Exeter Milligan, Sluka again on the serve. Van Housen from the left side. Down it goes for the kill. Mason, great drop serve there. Back set, and a good kill by Beefy. Boy, Hannah Beefy has come out just on fire here in this second set. Much the same way she ended set number one. 6-1. Timberwolves on top. Van Housen from the middle. That goes down for the kill. Well, the only two points in this set so far have been kills for Madison. And the Hawks are within four, trying to get their footing here in set number two. Jamie Traster back to serve it. Set it up on the run for Catherine White. She got it around the block of Van Housen and put it down for a point, seven to two. Back to a five point Timberwolf lead. Catherine redirected that one very well. The 5'8 sophomore also to serve, but into the net. Madison Van Housen to serve it for Hampton, trailing by four. Just rifles that one to the back, and that's an ace. Four points for Hampton in the set, two kills and an ace for Van Housen. Timberwolves still lead, though. That one's going to misfire long, and a point for the Timberwolves. Ashley Benorden in for Exeter Milligan. Sydney Hall to serve it up. Oh, very close to a, a miss return, and it's into the net from Clayson anyway. 9-4. So the question, whenever a team has an undefeated season going like the Hawks have as Coach Diane Torson takes a timeout here, whenever that you get a team that has a 
has an undefeated season, and even the way Hampton was doing it, undefeated in sets coming into tonight, you always have to kind of wonder in the back of your mind, well, if you're not going to win every single set, which is possible, but boy, is it difficult, especially in this conference in this conference tournament, knowing what the sub-district and the district is going to look like for Hampton. You kind of had the feeling that, boy, if they go the entire season and not drop a set, they are going to be literally one of the all-time teams. Now they've dropped a set, and in some ways that when that bubble burst, that can be a good thing uh, because sometimes as a team that's undefeated, you can have a little too much pressure on yourselves. I'm uh, not saying that that's the case necessarily with Hampton, but sometimes that can happen. And when that bubble bursts, it can either kind of spiral you down and say, well, we're not undefeated, so we don't necessarily want to keep things going. Or you could say, all right, we got beat, we're going to regroup, and we're going to come back. So far in set number two, Exeter Milligan has taken it right back to Hampton, much the way they ended set number one. Hampton just bumps it over. Exeter Milligan in the near court here. Cross court, and down it goes, and a big swing for Haley Lusum. 10-4 T-Wolves. Sydney Hall, another serve, and that one, Wolfenhausen almost does the limbo to get out of the way of that one. Does see it go by, though, and Hampton gets the benefit of a point there. Big driving jump serve there from J.C. Clayson. Tipped at the net, kicked around. It's going to be a point for the Hawks. Ashland Arndt actually got that block at the net to send it back to the T-Wolves side. Boy, Clayson with a sidewinder serve that time. And through the block for Van Orden and down. Got it through Clay, Jace, uh, the first Clayson. That's Taylor. And it's another point for the T-Wolves who have it by five. Well, there's two of them out there now. Not that they look much alike, but not from up here. And a double hit. Traster was on the run for that set attempt. Couldn't get to it cleanly. And it's a free point for the T-Wolves who lead by six here in set number two after winning set one, 26-24. Near side, big swing for Tristan Mason. Dug up there, well played at the net. This is Beefy with a little tip shot over the net. Hawks control. Mason pushes it to the back row. Back set, Van Orden off the block and down for the point. Got just around Taylor Clayson and Exeter Milligan rolling again 13-6 here in the second set. Van Housen from the back row into the net. Point, Exeter Milligan. Bit of a spiral right now for the Hawks, trailing by eight to try to find their way out of it. Needs something to go right. Clayson from the front row. Off the block, Hawks will control. Traster will set it up. Tristan Mason with the attempt. She can't get it over the block. Van Housen from the back row. That one finally goes down as a kill. Third kill of the set for Madison Van Housen and Kirsten Dozy. Excuse me, that is Kelsey Hurt uh, back to serve for the Hawks. Kelsey is a 5-4 junior. Exeter Milligan by a touchdown here. Hampton wishing there was a seven-point volleyball play right now. Near side, that's into the net for Van Orden. Hampton within six. Kelsey Hurt again on the serve. Into the net, Exeter Milligan back by seven. Samantha Horn to serve it up now for the Timberwolves. Van Housen from the back row, great dig by Horn, eh, but a lift is called, and a point for the Hawks. Taylor Clayson is to serve. J.C. Clayson just checked in as well for the Hawks. Taylor drives one and misses long on the jump serve, 16-9. 
Volleyball is such a game of runs. Exeter Milligan has had one big run. We've been very even since then. If Hampton's going to get all the way back in this thing, though, they need that seven or eight point run. Probably here pretty quick. Van Housen is in the front row, but got stuffed by Catherine White. Point Timberwolves. They are just all over Hampton right now, and another timeout taken by the Hawks. This we will take with them. Exeter Milligan in control and set two. Hey, what's going on? Just checking the fields. Yours are looking pretty good. Unless you're doing something right. Actually, I got a guy. You got a guy. Well, it's not just any guy. I got a channel seedsman. Channel, yeah. Yeah, I've been working with him pretty close to get what well, you can see for yourself. This is what I'd recommend. Let's get to work. Now this is what you want to see. Maybe I should get a guy. Maybe you should get a channel seedsman. Find your channel seedsman at channel.com. This is the championship match of the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament. Thank you to Channel Seed, Cornerstone Bank, Truck Center Companies, Nova Fitness Equipment, and Dickie's Barbecue in York. Proud supporters of strivesports.com. Their financial contributions make it possible for us to come to really fun volleyball events like the CRC championship matches at the York City Auditorium where Exeter Milligan wins set one 26-24, and they have pretty much dominated set two so far, leading 17-9, and that's going to be a double hit. Those are going to be a block anyway, and another point for the Timberwolves. That was a block. That was going to be a block anyway. They have just dominated at the net, especially here in set number two in the very late stages of set one. Set it up, Van Housen. Wow. Over the net, off the dig, and back over the net and out of bounds. Point, Hawks. Fourth kill of the set, 11th of the night in two sets so far for Van Housen. Beautiful serve from Tristan Mason. Great dig by Sluka. And off the block, Catherine White gets the point for the Timberwolves. Just when you think Hampton gets a – whenever Hampton gets a big swing or something from Van Housen, Exeter Milligan has answered right back every single time to keep the momentum on their side. Tracer, a push at the net, pushed it over and got the point on Catherine White that time. An important one there for the Hawks. So Jamie Tracer will go back to serve, but still an eight-point deficit right now for Hampton. An overpass on the serve receive and an overpass back. Now the Hawks on a scramble. They're not going to get to it. Oh, it just – about oh, it went on it went on the near side of the antenna it didn't count that was almost a fantastic play but it wasn't from Van Housen so 20 to 11 our score back set Van Housen blocked and in a point for the Timberwolves lose them on the stuff that time Exeter Milligan, and I tell you what, they have not had very many open shots for the Hawks tonight. Big credit to the blocking system of Exeter Milligan. That play does go in favor of the Hawks. But Exeter Milligan at the net has been outstanding, especially here in this second set. Van Housen to serve it for Hampton. Hall sets it up. Beathy on the swing. Into the net were the Hawks. Point extra Milligan. The Timberwolves are three away from going up two sets to none in the best of five championship series. Sydney Hall on the serve for Exeter Milligan. Down it goes. Clayson gets this kill that time. Twenty-two nine, our score. J.C. Clayson fires that one way long. Now twenty-three thirteen. Exeter Milligan has dominated this second set from the word go. That was lose him on the serve. Back row attack for Van Housen. Great dig by Catherine White. 
Stuffed at the net once. Clayson can't push it over, and it's set point. Exeter Milligan. The defending CRC champions look like they don't want to give up that crown anytime soon. Set point for the Timberwolves. Double hit. Set two belongs to Exeter Milligan. 25-13 here in set number two for Exeter Milligan, and they are one set victory away from beating Hampton for the first time anybody has done that all season long. Come back for the third set after this. Home-cooked favorites and online ordering so you can skip the line. That's what you'll find at Dickie's Barbecue in York. Log on to Dickies.com, select the York address, sign in or create a profile, and you'll be ordering delicious barbecue in just seconds. Choose from a variety of meats like brisket, pulled pork, chicken breast, or sausage. Add a homestyle side like waffle iron fries, fried onion tanglers, barbecue beans, and even fried okra. You won't go away hungry. Try Dickies Barbecue today and log on to Dickies.com. Kids eat free on Sunday. Hey, what's going on? Just checking the fields. Yours are looking pretty good. Unless you're doing something right. Actually, I got a guy. You got a guy. Well, it's not just any guy. I got a channel seedsman. Channel, yeah. Yeah, I've been working with him pretty close to get what you can see for yourself. This is what I'd recommend. Let's get to work. Now this is what you want to see. Maybe I should get a guy. Maybe you should get a channel seedsman. Find your channel seedsman at channel.com. So Exeter Milligan leads Hampton two sets to zero. The undefeated Hawks had not lost a set all season before set one that the Timberwolves took 26-24. Then Exeter Milligan just dominated in set number two, 25 to 13. They are one set win away from knocking off Hampton for the first time all year and they're off to a flying start after the misplay and Anna Sluka back to serve it again. Timberwolves in the far court, Hawks of Hampton in the near court. As you watch your screen, that serve though misses wide and we're tied up at one. J.C. Clayson into the lineup. A little spark plug out there, 5-4 sophomore for the Hawks and a senior dominated team. Sometimes those sophomores can be pretty exciting. That kill off the face of Taylor Clayson and a point for Exeter Milligan. Anna Beathy will serve it up. Van Housen in the middle, no doubter for the Hawks. That makes 12 kills for the night for Van Housen and an ace there for the Hawks. For the first time in a long time, we've see, we can say Hampton has the lead. Traster again. Sydney Hall, back set. Catherine White puts it down. Tied up at three.
Clayson from the back row into the net. Point, Exeter Milligan. Traster sets it up. Van Housen to the back row. Good dig there by Catherine White. Beefy then pushes it over. Left side. That's Little Clayson. Her changeup. Good dig by Sluka. To the back. Down it goes for Luzum. Kill for the Timberwolves. T-Wolves by two. Leading two sets to none. Set it up for Van Housen. Tip shot over the net. That one goes down. Not a big swing, but it does go as a kill for Van Housen. And now Madison back to serve for the Hawks. So the bad news is she gets out of the front row. Oh, and an ace. That will work. Her second ace of the Knights, and we're all tied up at five. Lose them on that serve received. Tipped at the net. Hawks trying to play it. They will push it back over with Clayson there. Timberwolves on the attack now. Set it up for Lose them off the block and down for a kill. <laughs> Ashley Benorden, number 17, into the front row. Just checked in. You see for extra Milligan. Sydney Hall is back to serve. T Wolves by one. Into the net, we're tied at six. So Kirsten Dozy comes in for Hampton. 5-5 junior, Libero. Good driving serve there, and oh, a little miscommunication on who was supposed to attack there. So a free ball here for the Hawks. Clayson through the block and down. Taylor got to show off the athleticism that time, actually. It, not a great set, or, or Taylor's feet were a little off-center when she kind of went up for the jump but was able to kind of redirect herself in midair to get a good swing on it. Hawks by one, and then Clayson pushes the quick set over for another one. Hampton by two here in set number three. Kirsten Dozy back to serve again. Just misses long. Timberwolves with a point back. 8-7, and Haley lose them back to serve for the Wolves. Tracer from the back row. How about that? Van Housen off the net and down. Sometimes it's far better to be lucky than good. She is good. That time she was very lucky was Van Housen. Into the lineup for Hampton comes Kelsey Hurt, the 5'4 junior. She goes back to serve it as well for the Hawks. Near side, big swing, down for the kill, off the block. The swing for Hannah Beefy. You know, the thing about extra Milligan, they don't come at you with one good hitter. They come at you with Beefy and Catherine White. Uh, Haley lose them just back to, I mean, they can hit from anywhere. That's a really good extra Milligan team, and I put the score up wrong there as that serve went into the net. Hampton now leading by two. Taylor Clayson on the serve. Drops that one well. Back set for Benorden. Finds the hole in the Hawk defense to get the kill for the Timberwolves. Anna Sluka back into the lineup for Exeter Milligan, and she will go back to serve. For Hampton, Van Housen is back into the front row on their rotation. They will set up Madison on the left side. Her little tip shot dug out by Sluka. Then Extra Milligan tips it over. Traster, quick set into the middle, kept alive. Great play by the Timberwolves. Hawks on the attack. Tristan Mason on the left side. Over the top. Good dig, quick set. Mason tipped it. Now Van Housen puts it down but misses wide. And we're all tied up at 10. Luca to serve it again for the Timberwolves. We're all tied up here in set number three. 
Clayson, nice swing from the back row. Good dig again by Sluka. Said that a few times, especially in this set. They will set up Tristan Mason in the middle. And now for extra Milligan, Beathy. Good dig by Taylor Clayson. Cross court it goes. Tristan Mason on that attack. Now Beathy will push it over. Hawks wanted a double hit there. Van Housen, tip shot. Hall keeps it alive. Beathy again. Down the line. It's a point for the Timberwolves. Boy, what a rally from both sides there. Beathy on what was probably the, the least of least hard-hitted shot. Hard-hitted? Hard. It was the softest shot, and it still scored. That's what I was trying to say. Van Housen left side. Off the block. It's a stuff for Sidney Hall and the Timberwolves. And let me tell you, folks, you better be stout when you go up for that block when Madison Van Housen has a big run at it like that. Timberwolves' lead is two. It's four in a row for Exeter Milligan. Hall sets it up. Beathy, good dig there by Clayson. In the middle, Van Housen, big swing. Got that one down for the kill. Four in the set. 15 on the night so far as far as kills for Madison Van Housen. Sorry, she's the only one I'm keeping track of. I was just curious coming in. Not the full stats tonight. Mason on the serve. Hawks trailing by one. Beathy from the right side. Over the block and good. Hannah Beathy was a stud in the second set. And now the longer this third set has gone on, the better she has gotten. Kate Jansky, a 5'8 sophomore, is into the lineup for the first time tonight for Exeter Milligan in the front row. Van Housen gets it through the block but controlled still by the Timberwolves. Then a hit. That one went into the net, and so a point for the Hawks. They're back within one. Jansky comes right back out as Catherine White goes right back into the front row on the far side. Also in for Hampton, J.C. Clayson comes in. Jamie Traster here on the serve. It's a good one. Going to be a scramble play and a free ball for the Hawks. Traster in the middle for Van Housen. Puts it down off Sydney Hall again. Not the first time we've seen that kind of from the middle. Van Housen getting it off of, unfortunately, Sydney Hall's head the first time. That time Sydney just got her shoulder on it. We're tied up at 13 here in set number three. Back set, Catherine White. Ooh, she got a good one there over Traster. Point, Exeter Milligan. Traster into the net. Timberwolves by two. Catherine White on the serve. And that's the little Clayson, the little spark plug, J.C. Clayson with a big kill there for the Hawks. Like I said, sometimes on a senior-dominated team, you need that youngster that just plays with Fire and vinegar running through her veins to kind of get things going every now and then. Hawks trailing by one, but no more. We're tied after the hit attempt by Samantha Horn goes wide. All tied up at 15 here in set number three. Exeter Milligan wins set one, 26-24, and set two, 25-13. Van Housen on that serve for the Hawks. Wrap around, lose them into the net. Point, Hampton. Timeout for Exeter Milligan. We'll step aside as well with the Hawks of Hampton up by one. The trucking industry gives you a lot of opportunity for careers uh, because there's such a wide, vast uh, list of possibilities and areas that you can go into. Uh, as technicians, these trucks are as advanced as cars are today. Uh, so we need technicians that can work on them uh, and understand how to work the computer system and get them up and running so the customer can make money. These trucks are workhorses, but they're built for comfort and they're easy to drive. 
Freightliner builds these trucks for drivers' wants and customers' needs. Championship match of the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament. Hampton leading the set 15-16, or 16-15, excuse me, but trailing in the match two sets to none, and that is a serve into the net for Madison Van Housen, and we're tied up again at 16 apiece. So Sidney Hall goes back to serve for the Timberwolves. J.C. Clayson on the serve-receive. Cross court for Taylor Clayson. Blocked at the net. Well, that net play has just been dominated tonight by Exeter Milligan. Ben Orden on that attack. This is J.C. Clayson tipped. Kept it alive, though. Sophomore kept it going for the Hawks, and that one then misses wide. Oh, Exeter Milligan thought they had a miscommunication, and it still falls their way. It has been that kind of night for the Timberwolves. You know, the other thing is I'm thinking back tonight, Hampton does not have a lot of blocks as a team. Uh, Sydney Hall has done a masterful job for Exeter Milligan setting to different spots throughout the night and letting all of those different hitters have their turn, and, and Hampton hasn't been able to get the block set very often in this match. We're going to get a double hit there on the Timberwolves, and that will tie us again at 17 here in set three. So something to watch here as we get closer to the end of the third set. It's going to be an ace for Kirsten Dozy. Hawks by one. Dozy another little skipping run at that. Hall sets it over for Ben Norden. Hampton with a chance here. Tristan Mason on the swing. Got it to the back row. Still in play. Nope, they're going to call into the net. Into the net on Exeter Milligan and a point for Hampton. Dozy back to serve. Just misses long, and Exeter Milligan gets a freebie back within one. Lose him on the serve. Tristan Mason on the attack. Blocked again at the net. Hampton controls. In the middle, Clayson. Tip shot. Kept alive. Great dig from the back by Lose him. Now a big kill and a swing from Hannah Beefy, and we're tied at 19. The Timberwolves just come at you from so many different angles. That serve misses long. Point for Hampton. Catherine White couldn't keep that one in. And Kelsey Hurt checks in for the Hawks and goes back to serve. Little tip shot. Hurt in the right place at the right time. Extra Milligan controls. Ben Norton, ben Norton got blocked. First time on that, the Hawks really have gotten the block set up, and they were able to get the block there for a 21-19 lead. Hall sets it up for Beefy. Great dig. Oh, they call a lift, though. On Kelsey Hurt, Van Housen had a great dig in the back row, but they call Hurt for the lift as she was trying to keep it alive. And that will make it 21-20 Hampton. Blocked and tipped at the net, kept alive now. Van Housen, a fallaway shot, still got it over. In the middle, White puts it down. We're tied at 21. And Hampton coach Diane Torson going to take a timeout. We will as well and come back on strivesports.com. Tied at 21 in the third set. Yeah, I get it. For the little things. Technology's great. It makes things easier. It's faster. We can get things done wherever we go. 
And we get all that from our bank. It works for us. But for the bigger things, the things that really count, I still want to talk to the people I know and trust. That's why I'm here. Back here for the championship match, the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament. Exeter Milligan leading the match two sets to one. Hampton has been trying to make this a dogfight here in set number three to extend the game. But the Timberwolves are on the serve here with Anna Sluka. Tied up at 21 apiece. Tracer, back set for Clayson. Down for the kill goes Beefy. that is two in a row for Exeter Milligan trying to close out the Hawks Mason with a swing Beefy right place right time Ben Orton will just bump it over free ball for the Hawks Tracer to Clayson tip shot finds the hole tied at 22 and Taylor Clayson will go back to serve Takes the run and it drives it to the back row and gets the ace. 23-22, timeout, Exeter Milligan. We'll let you enjoy the crowd. Taylor Clayson to serve it up now for the Hampton Hawks. Trying to extend the match, leading 23-22. That one just over the net. Beathy will get it down for the Timberwolves. Hannah Beathy has had the last three points for the Timberwolves, all on kills. Sluka on the serve. Van Housen, a running shot at the net. Played at the net. Van Housen into and over the net. It is set point for the Hawks. And Tristan Mason to serve it for Hampton. Drives it over. Beathy punches one over. Opportunity for Hampton. In the middle, Van Housen. Who else? Big swing, big block. Again, Van Housen, tip shot. Great dig. Losem came up for that one. Beefy, back into the middle. Again, Van Housen, blocked and dug again. That was Catherine White on the block. Clayson bumps it to the back row. Exeter Milligan with White down the line, off the block, out of bounds. Hawks thought it was touched. The officials say no, it's a point. Exeter Milligan. So Yansky back into the front row for Exeter Milligan and Beathy to serve it. Traster back set. Van Housen down and good. Seven kills in the set for Madison Van Housen, and we are at set point. White into the net. Hawks stay alive.
Well, how good was that end of the match, folks, from 21-20 that Hampton had the lead? That net violation you saw right there was the only error of the last, uh, let's see, five and four, of the last nine serves, there was one error combined, and it was that hit into the net. Fantastic volleyball, and we will continue on. Hampton takes set three, 26-24. Stay with us. Checking the fields. Yours are looking pretty good. Unless you're doing something right. Actually, I got a guy. You got a guy. Well, it's not just any guy. I got a channel seedsman. Channel, yeah. Yeah, I've been working with him pretty close to get. Well, you can see for yourself. This is what I'd recommend. Let's get to work. Now, this is what you want to see. Maybe I should get a guy. Maybe you should get a channel seedsman. Find your channel seedsman at channel.com. Yeah, I get it. For the little things. Technology's great. It makes things easier. It's faster. We can get things done wherever we go. And we get all that from our bank. It works for us. But for the bigger things, the things that really count, I still want to talk to the people I know and trust. That's why I'm here. Okay, Aaron, catch us up. What happened? First point. I know it's one to one. I can see that. Did I hear Taylor Clayson's name said for the first point for Hampton? And then a net violation on the Hawks. Makes it even up at one apiece. Here in set number four, that off the block of Van Housen. And a big one there for the Hawks. That one misses long, nobody touched it. Point for Hampton. Trying to claw their way back. They lost the first two sets, 26-24, then 25-13, before winning that third set, 26-24 themselves. Back row attack for Mason. Good dig by Luzum. This is Beathy from the left side, stuffed. Hampton controls. Tracer will take the attack, and she'll put it down for the kill. Somebody wake Tony Chapman up. Hawks lead 4-1. to one. Mason on the serve. Back set. Beathy down the line. Good for the kill. Beathy. 
Kate Yansky came in at the very end of the third set for just a little bit for the first time tonight. Now she is checking into the lineup with regularity through the third and now into the fourth set. A little change-up tip shot there by Van Housen. Bump over the top and good for the point, though, for Haley Luzum. When we say change-up, Madison Van Housen, 19 kills on the night so far as we enter the fourth set. Van Housen, big swing, make it an even 20. One of the very best in the entire state, regardless of class. Pick her up, put her on any team in the state, they instantly get better. Yes, I'm counting Scott in there as well, as that attempt goes wide for Catherine White, and it's another point for the Hawks, who have a three-point lead here early on in set number four. Playing best of five, so it's still up in the air if we're going to play all five. Oh, what a great shot there by Sydney Hall. Redirected it at the very top. Looked like she slam-dunked the nerf hoop that time. White on the serve. Back row attack for Mason over the net. Out of bounds. Was it touched? The official on the floor says it was touched by the Timberwolves. So it goes down as off the block and a point for the Hawks. Van Housen with a driving serve. Tip shot back. Hampton controls. Mason pushes it over. Extra Milligan with Luzum. Back set, Van Housen. No, that was Clayson, excuse me. Kept alive, we're still going. Van Housen, big dig, beefy, big block, Clayson. Horn with the swing that time. Still in play, missed it wide though, and a point for the Hawks. Well earned. What a rally. Call your family, call your friends. Tell them to watch Strive Sports right now. They're missing out if they are not watching this game going on right now. Hawks trying to stay in it, and a double hit is called on J.C. Clayson. Tough break there for the sophomore. Five to eight. Our score, Hampton with the lead. Exeter Milligan with a serve with Sidney Hall doing the honors. That one to the back, it goes. Cross courts. Lose and put it over. Now on the near side, that's Clayson. Blocked at the net by Ben Orton. And a point for the Timberwolves. Ashley Ben Orton. Doesn't have a ton of kills, doesn't have a ton of blocks, but boy, she's been just been in on a lot of plays, it seems like, for the Timberwolves, who are down by two as Sydney Hall with a little jump serve. Clayson, tip shot right down the net. Ben Orton, that one went into the net, but they say it was touched by Hampton. So on we play. Van Housen from the back row. Good dig there by Beefy. Ben Orton, cross court. J.C. Clayson with that attack. Cross court again. That was losing down the line. It falls in off the block in a point. Extra Milligan. Timberwolves back within one. Clayson on the swing. Big one it is. But they call her for in the net, and we're tied up at eight. And a serve into the net. So Kirsten Dozy will go back to serve. Nine to eight, our score. From the back row and hitting the back corner goes Haley Luzum. 
We're tied at nine. Lose him on the serve. Dozy on the return. Mason on the attack. Hall with the set. Beathy stuffed at the net. Clayson gets the block. Ashlyn Art was up there as well. Big point there for the Hawks of Hampton. Into the lineup comes Kelsey Hurt. At the net, big swing, good dig. Hurt keeps it alive. Now extra Milligan controls. Ben Norton off the net and down for the kill. Tied at 10, Horn on the serve. Back set for Clayson, cross court she comes then. Horn from the back row, never cleared the net. So Clayson back to serve. 11 to 10 actually the score, I apologize, I had it off and that finds barely the back line, an ace for Clayson. Taylor to try it again. Good drop on it that time. Hall right at the net, just high played. Hampton will control, Tracer blocked at the net. Great dig though by Dozy. Clayson from the back row, misses wide, no touch. It's a point for the T-Wolves. Anna Sluka into the lineup and back to serve for Exeter Milligan. Timberwolves won set one, 26-24, and set two, 25-13, but lost set three, 26-24. Aaron, was that Van Housen? Mason to serve. Point for Beathy. 13, let me catch up here, 13-12, Hampton on top, Exeter Milligan with the serve. Beathy with the honors. Mason will bump it over. Opportunity here, back set, Beathy with a swing, got it down the line for the kill. Beathy with back-to-back -back points, and we are tied up at 13 here in the fourth set. Timberwolves trying to close it out. Hawks trying to stay alive in the CRC championship match. J.C. Clayson with that attack. Hall to lose him at the net, played by the Hawks. Set it up, Van Housen. Down and for the kill for Madison. That is four in the set and 22 kills on the night. Unofficially, but I have a good feeling it's not too far off of that. On the game tonight for Van Housen as Traster gets the ace. Traster in the middle this time. Lose him on the attack, punches it over. Traster. Short set, there's Van Housen again. Three in a row for the Hawks. If you're extra Milligan, you need a timeout. Coach Darcy White does just that with her team trailing by three, but the momentum clearly on Hampton's side. The trucking industry gives you a lot of opportunity for careers. Uh, because there's such a wide, vast uh, list of possibilities and areas that you can go into. Uh, as technicians, these trucks are as advanced as cars are today, uh, so we need technicians that can work on them uh, and understand how to work the computer system and get them up and running so the customer can make money. 
These trucks are workhorses, but they're built for comfort and they're easy to drive. Freightliner builds these trucks for drivers' wants and customers' needs. Eric Allgood, Aaron Allgood on camera, Austin Penfield on social media tonight. The Strive Sports crew in full effect with the Hampton Hawks leading here in set number four, 16-13, but a kill there for Haley Luzum. Ends a 3-0 run for the Hawks of Hampton. Catherine White on the serve. Van Housen again. Point for the Hawks at 17-14. Tip of the net. Great play there by White to keep it alive. Hawks will have a chance here. Clayson tries to put it down. Good dig by Catherine White again in the back row. Free ball. What can Hampton set up? Van Housen, why not? Into the net this time, and a point. Extra Milligan. <laughs> Blocked at the net. Clayson, though, does dig it back out. Taylor gets another chance. Just tips it over this time. And there's the changeup from the Timberwolves. That one, Clayson tried to save it back in, but it goes outside. And so it's extra Milligan with back-to-back -back points. Back within one are the T-Wolves. Sydney Hall on the serve. Clayson blocked, but out of bounds, and a point for the Hawks. Kirsten Dozy back on the serve. And out it goes. Van Housen from the back row, off the net and in play. Ben Orden to the back row. Van Housen can't get to it, and we're tied at 18. Four of the last five points, and in fact, five of the last six points belong to the extra Milligan Timberwolves. Tristan Mason blocked at the net, now a play at the net. Kept alive, Hawks will control. Clayson in the middle. Missed wide and a point for Exeter Milligan. As the Timberwolves try to close things out. Van Housen from the back row. Good dig. Mason goes cross courts. Another good dig by Luzum. That's Beathy on the attack. To the back row it goes. And down it goes for a point for the Timberwolves. Exeter Milligan has rattled off six of the last seven points. Timeout, Hampton. We'll take it as well. 20 to 18, our score. Yeah, I get it for the little things. Technology's great. It makes things easier. It's faster. We can get things done wherever we go. And we get all that from our bank. It works for us. But for the bigger things, the things that really count, I still want to talk to the people I know and trust. That's why I'm here.
Seven of the last nine points have been scored by Exeter Milligan, and they have forged back after being down 16-13 to forge ahead 20-18 here in the fourth set. At this set, if it's won by Exeter Milligan, they get the CRC championship. If Hampton prevails in this set, we go to the fifth. T-Wolves on a roll, and that is Haley Luzum on the serve. Clayson blocked at the net. Hampton controls again. Mason with a tip shot. She's blocked again. Clayson tries the quick attack this time. And they'll get a free ball back. Dozy, Traster, Clayson, tip shot. Changeup didn't work that time. Beathy, big block that time from Clayson. Sydney Hall, back set. Ben Orton down the line, tipped around. Mason with the swing off the tip twice. Extra Milligan keeps it alive. What a rally from both sides. Clayson on the right side, down for the kill. Outstanding volleyball. Kelsey Hurt will serve it up for the Hawks as she checks in with her team down one here in the fourth set. Set it up for Samantha Horn. Down the line she comes. Hampton keeps it in the middle. Clayson with the attack and down it goes. Tied up at 20. Taylor Clayson has come alive in the fourth set. Hurt on the serve. Beathy's tip shot into the net. Three in a row for the Hawks. Hampton trying to extend the match to a fifth set. Ben Orden blocked by Clayson. Timeout, Timberwolves. Wow, this is fun. Let's enjoy. After Exeter Milligan wins seven of nine points to take a 20 to 18 lead, Hampton has won four straight to lead 22 20. And Kelsey Hurt back to serve it again for the Hawks. Another good one. And it's going to be an ace 23 20. And the Hawks trying to force a fifth set. Exeter Milligan out of timeouts. In the middle, Horn tipped at the net. Traster sets it up for Clayson, who's had the hot hand. Down it goes again. We're at set point. Of the last five points scored, or she's got four of the last six points scored, does Clayson, she's got the hot hand right now. Ben Orton down the line, missed it long, and we're going to a fifth set. So Hampton was down 20 to 18 and scores the last seven of the set to win it 25-20, and to the fifth, we shall go. Stay with us on strivesports.com. 
Nova Fitness Equipment of Omaha has provided the very best weight room, track and field, and sports surfacing products for over 30 years in Nebraska. They provide Cybex, Matrix Fitness, Vertimax, Tough Stuff, Pro Elite, Stairmaster, York Barbell, Troy Barbell, and UCS track and performance products. From rubber flooring, strength equipment, cardio products, and sports performance accessories, Nova Fitness Equipment has what you need to make your athletic program successful. Contact Nova Fitness Equipment today at their home office in Omaha or online at Nova Fitness Equipment dot com. Home-cooked favorites and online ordering so you can skip the line. That's what you'll find at Dickie's Barbecue in York. Log on to Dickie's.com, select the York address, sign in or create a profile, and you'll be ordering delicious barbecue in just seconds. Choose from a variety of meats like brisket, pulled pork, chicken breast, or sausage. Add a home-style side like waffle iron fries, fried onion tanglers, barbecue beans, and even fried okra. You won't go away hungry. Try Dickie's Barbecue today and log on to Dickie's.com. Kids eat free on Sundays. Okay, well, if you can't tell by the crowd reaction, we have reached the fifth set of the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament. Exeter Milligan wins set one, 26-24. They win set two, 25-13. And at that point, Hampton looked basically done. They claw their way back and win set three, 26-24, and score the last seven of set four to win 25-20, and the force a fifth and deciding set for the CRC title. Van Housen swung and blocked at the net. Extra Milligan controls, now Hampton's got it. Traced her at the net, she's blocked. Timberwolves in the net, point for the Hawks. Tristan Mason will go back and serve it for Hampton. Back set, Beefy. Good dig by Mason to keep it alive. J.C. Clayson with that swing. Cross court, no, we're gonna get a double hit on Sydney Hall. The sprint to the finish. White stuffed by Traster. The Hawks are a new team. Body language speaks volumes right now for Hampton in their favor. Long on the attack and another point. Timeout Timberwolves. That did not take long for Coach Darcy White to see the momentum. And like I said, you could see the body language. Exeter Milligan had been down a little bit. You see it in the huddle even. You see the heads drooping just a little bit as Coach Darcy White tries to pick him up for the Hampton huddle. Everybody's up. Everybody's engaged. Coach Diane Torson patrols the middle of that huddle, shouting her encouragement to the, her teammates, to her students. And let's enjoy the crowd again.
Hampton's four points in this set have come on three Exeter Milligan errors and one big block by Jamie Traster. Tristan Mason has done the serving so far in this fifth set for Hampton. Sluka on the serve received. Back set for Beathy. Mason on the dig. Tracer sets up for J.C. Clayson. And it's down for a kill for the little sophomore. That big spark plug. She has been, everything she has done has just been on fire tonight in one way, shape, or form. White stuffed at the net and out of bounds. It's going to be a point for Exeter Milligan. So the first point finally for the Timberwolves in this sprint to the finish. Van Housen, big swing, and down it goes. 25 kills on the night for Madison Van Housen. Her first of the fifth set. 6-1, Hawks on top. Oh, it's punch from the back row. Traster probably didn't want to play it, but did anyway, and it ends up being a kill on not a very hard attack by Luzum. 6-2 our score. And really the first time we've seen Haley Sheffield the libero in as Van Housen gets another big swing and another big kill. It has a feeling of inevitability right now at 7-2. Van Housen on the serve. Sluka on the receive. They'll set up Horn. Down the line she goes. Dug up there by Traster. J.C. Clayson goes cross court. Back to Hall. Sydney sets it across. Taylor Clayson down. Great dig by Sluka. She will attack from the back row. Kept alive by Mason. J.C. Clayson down the line. Up and over. It's a point for the Timberwolves. What a job there by Haley Luzum. Holy cow. So many good plays. Sydney Hall to serve it up. For the Timberwolves, did that just change the air of inevitability? Boy, it got quiet all of a sudden. Clayson shoves that one down the line. Now from the back row, Beathy, great dig by Mason. And that'll be Tristan on the attack then. Hall sets it up. That was losing him on that attack. Clayson with a quick attack and down it goes. Taylor Clayson at the end of the fourth set, and now here in the fifth has just been on fire. Eight to three, Hampton with a lead here in the fifth and deciding set. Dozy on the serve, little misplay in the back row. Now off the ceiling, it's gonna be a free ball to the Hawks. Tracer, back set. Clayson into the net on the set, on the uh, attack, and a point for Exeter Milligan. Eight four, our score. Hawks on the attack. Tristan Mason to the back row. Great dig by Luzum. Set it up for Beefy. She goes cross court. That's down for a kill. Eight five, our score. Hampton still on top. Exeter Milligan trying to claw their way back. Our sign fell down. That's how exciting it is here at the auditorium. Luzum on the serve. Mason blocked at the net, tips, Clayson tips it back over. Hall, a back set for Benorden, played at the net, tipped all around, it's out of bounds, it's off Exeter Milligan, Hampton with a point. Kelsey Hurt into the ball game and back to serve for Hampton. The Hawk lead is four. Big swing, Beefy down those nets, and it goes for the kill. Hannah 
has the last two points scored for Exeter Milligan, and they're still within in three. Still very much in earshot. Tracer will set it up for Mason. Tristan to the back row. Sydney Hall sets it up. Good dig by Van Housen. The Hawks trying to recover now. We'll bump it over. Timberwolves with the opportunity in the middle. Good dig. Mason got it twice there. She'll get the attack. Just bump it over. Now from the back row, Samantha Horn. Oh, tip it all around. They're going to call a lift on the Hawks and a point for the Timberwolves. Nine-seven our score. Exeter Milligan right back into it. Tracer, double hit, point, Timberwolves, that's three in a row. Timeout, Hampton, Coach Torson wants to talk things over with her squad. Back after this on StriveSports.com. Yeah, I get it, for the little things. Technology's great, it makes things easier, it's faster. We can get things done wherever we go. And we get all that from our bank. It works for us. But for the bigger things, the things that really count, I still want to talk to the people I know and trust. That's why I'm here. Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament. You have not... You have, you have not not lived up to the hype tonight. CRC Conference as a whole, so tough, night in and night out. And we've got a championship match that is in the fifth set. Hampton clinging to a one-point lead, but the momentum on the side of Exeter Milligan as they've won five of the last six serves. In the middle, Clayson to the back row, off the ceiling and a kill for the Hawks. The lead back to two, and Taylor will go back to serve for Hampton. Right at the net, Hall lifts it over. And now, what are we going to get? A point for the Hawks. I got to plead ignorance. I really don't know what that call was. Hall and, and Van Housen were both there at the net. They give the point to Hampton. Whatever it was, the Hawks' lead is three now. Big swing. Missing wide, though, was Catherine White. She was pointing at the line like that was in. Coach Darcy White thought it was in. The line judge right away pointed out. The judge at the bottom of the net pointed out right away. And now the Timberwolves are going to call their final timeout. With Hampton leading now 12-8. And that is three in a row for the Hawks. After Exeter Milligan had scored five of six service points to get within nine to eight, Hampton has rattled off three straight to make it 12-8 in this sprint to 15. What an absolutely fantastic match. Exeter Milligan breaks the streak of no losses in any set for Hampton through the first 26 games they had played. They had not lost a set. Exeter Milligan took care of that streak in set number one, winning 26-24. And then they really took it to Hampton in set number two, winning 25-12, a, a set that Hampton looked almost disinterested in by the end of the set. But in set three, Hampton claws back and wins that one 26-24. Then Hampton wins 25-20 in set number four, and now is three points away from taking the CRC title back to the Hawks home floor, but not before Hannah Beathy has something to say about it as she gets the kill and gives a little bit of spark and a little bit of life back to the Timberwolves of Exeter Milligan. Anna Sluka will do the serving for the Timberwolves. Over and out of bounds. And again, the Timberwolves very sure that that hit the line. And again, right away, the officials both mark out of bounds. Tristan Mason and her Hawks two points away. Traster sets it up for Van Housen into the net. It never cleared. 
Exeter Milligan with a point. Beefy will serve it now. Timberwolves can't afford any mistakes. Van Housen into the net was Exeter Milligan. And it's match point, Hampton. Substitution here for the Hawks. They'll bring Ashlyn Arndt back into the game, but this is match point. Tracer, though, into the net. Still match point at 14 to 11 for the Hawks. They're going to be on the serve receive. Catherine White will serve it for the Timberwolves. In the middle, Van Housen down for the kill. The Hawks of Hampton are your CRC tournament champions. Hampton falls in the first two sets, but wins the last three to take the CRC title back to Hawkville. The Timberwolves of Exeter Milligan had one heck of a match here tonight. Came right down to the very end. Some calls that were, I guess we'll call them 50-50 calls. It seemed like all of them right at the very end went the way of Hampton. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it goes for you, sometimes it goes against you. But tonight, it was for the Hawks as they close it out 15 to 11. Finally, they're in the fifth set. Just a remarkable night. I need a quick timeout to think about things. Nova Fitness Equipment of Omaha has provided the very best weight room, track and field, and sports surfacing products for over 30 years in Nebraska. They provide Cybex, Matrix Fitness, Vertimax, Tough Stuff, Pro Elite, Stairmaster, York Barbell, Troy Barbell, and UCS track and performance products. From rubber flooring, strength equipment, cardio products, and sports performance accessories, Nova Fitness Equipment has what you need to make your athletic program successful. Contact Nova Fitness Equipment today at their home office in Omaha or online at Nova Fitness Equipment. Com. Exeter Milligan out to receive the runner-up trophy and plaque and medals for the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament. Exeter Milligan now 22-4 and four on their season. And now the game ball and championship plaque and medals go to the Hawks of Hampton. Well, it was a really remarkable night. For the, I mean, the wild swings, you're kind of used, to, if you watch volleyball, you're, you're used to the wild swings of emotion. And boy, that first set when Exeter Milligan, like we said, when they kind of popped the bubble of Hampton not losing a set all season, uh, you kind of wondered, you know, what was going to happen uh, for Hampton the rest of the way. And in that second set, boy, it looked like Hampton might just say, well, we're, we're, we didn't loop. we're not going to win all our sets this year, so we were a little bit down on ourselves uh, as, as Exeter Milligan really took it to the Hawks in that second set, 25-13. to 13. Big credit to Coach Diane Torson in Hampton, though. In set number three, they win 26-24. Got a huge set there from Madison Van Housen. She had seven kills in that set. Then they were able to uh, extend and keep the match going with a 25-20 victory. They win the last seven points of set number four after they were down 20 to 18. And they had seen Exeter Milligan score uh, six of the last seven serves. Exeter Milligan led 20 to 18. Hampton rattles off the last seven points of the game to win 25 20. And then back and forth affair here in this one in the, uh, in the fifth set. Uh, some 50 50 calls that all went Hampton's way. At the end of the set, they get the kill from Van Madison Van Housen very fittingly on her 27th kill of the night. 
Madison delivers a championship for the Hampton Hawks. And uh, we're going to get some post-game reaction uh, on strivesports.com and on Prep Huddle Live for our show tomorrow at noon. We're going to have a reaction from this game from Coach Torson, and we might try to get Madison as well. Might be Taylor Clayson. We might get all the seniors out there uh, for the Hampton Hawks. Uh, what a fantastic job they did. So winners in five sets, all total three sets to two for Hampton. So the set streak is over, but the winning streak is still intact. 27-0 for the Hampton Hawks. They are your 2016 Crossroads Conference Tournament champions. Thanks for joining us tonight on strivesports.com. Aaron Allgood was on the video tonight. Fantastic job, Aaron. Austin Penfield, he's a master at the social media pictures, graphics, all the fun stuff you got to see on the graphics here tonight. That was all Austin. I just try to talk as best I can during the games and hope I can add just a little bit to uh, the atmosphere and what we got to see transpire here tonight. Great job. Congratulations to all the teams who are winners here tonight for the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament. We'll say good night from your